many how many people does this serve? One. One? Yes, it's about three pounds. No, it's not. Okay, Matthew is about to show me the proper way to eat a crawfish. Squeeze. Woo! <laughs> but before we do, we need to rewind to the beginning of today so you can appreciate this bite as much as I'm about to. The uh, fishermen here get started early. Ugh. This morning we are going to meet up with Madison, who is the owner of a crawfish operation, and we are gonna see every step of the process from pulling them out of the water until they're bright red and ready to eat. Hey guys. You ready? You've yeah. already gotten started. Oh yeah, 6 a.m. We're late for work. Wow. We're basically on a thousand acre farm right now, and what we have flooded up is 105 acres. <laughs> are these all from this morning? Ready? We had no idea that a crawfish farm is actually just a flooded rice field where crawfish have been released to grow and multiply. Up until the 60s, crawfish were just a nuisance to the farmers because they ate their crop. But as people all over the U.S. started to discover how delicious these little mud bugs were, they went from a nuisance to money makers. Oh. <laughs> has exactly seven seconds between each trap, which means he has seven seconds to pick up the trap, dump them out, stick more bait inside, and put it back before grabbing the next one, all while driving and steering the boat at the same time. It all happens so fast. It takes a lot of skill. We're about to see if Kara has what it takes. Get a dog. You're kind of convincing me. Man, these are so heavy. They don't look heavy when anyone else touches them. <laughs> so we have followed Madison back over to the loading dock for step two of the process. Right now, there are over 20 fishermen fishing over 6,000 acres. To put that into perspective, the farm that we were just at, all of the water that you can see in that drone shot was 105 flooded acres. So 60 times that is being fished right now and all the fishermen are gonna bring their catch back here to be weighed and sorted. Aren't they heavy? <laughs> no. They're heavier than they look. Yeah, well, that's good right here. No, that's good. <laughs> I call it. <laughs> So all the crawfish on that pallet came from the 105 acre pond that we were fishing earlier. Okay, we're weighing each bag individually. So he's putting it on the scale. I write what it says, clear the scale again, and he puts it on the bag and then we do it again. We have a lot of bags to weigh. All right, I was waiting on you. The crazy thing is tomorrow they're gonna get the same amount of crawfish out of that pond. You can fish it every day. It's called 1,077 pounds. There are about 700 crawfish in this bag. This one specifically is going to North Carolina, but Madison City ships from all over the country, all the way from California to New York. I didn't realize people ate crawfish outside of the South, but apparently it's become popular over the last few years. What's your favorite part about doing this? I would say getting to be outside all day, be in nature. If we don't get up every day and do what we do, then people literally can't survive. They don't, whether they own a restaurant or a seafood market or a wholesale place or they're, or they're just a middleman, I mean, 
you know, if that's what they do with seafood and it's crawfish, then I mean, they're, we're their lifeline, you know. We do what we love, um, and it's for the people we love. But yeah, it's just kind of a dream, I guess. Lunchtime. This is actually a hog that we had previously roasted, which is now called a pork roast in rice and gravy. You know, remaining hog debris. So I'm big on no waste. There's too many hungry people in the world. This is just my from scratch, Whoa. scribble scratch recipe. So before we fill up on crawfish later tonight, we're trying a few more Louisiana specialties for lunch. This is called, I already forgot. Bowden? Bowden. Eat it. Doesn't sound the way it looks like it sounds. Got pork meat, onion, spices, rice. Mmm. It tastes like a bite of stew, but like it's in sausage form. This is a uh, pork roast, rice and gravy with smothered cabbage and black eyed peas. Pork is very big around here. Some people say it's like their vitamin. They live and die for it, literally. Mmm. It is like medicine for my soul. Next is cabbage. The cabbage might be the best part. I know that sounds crazy. I feel like if I had been out fishing all morning, this would be the perfect lunch to come back to. Like you have? Like I have, yeah. I mean, I've been working really hard. We're uh, getting out of the way because now the real work's starting. What's the dream? Like five, 10 years, if everything goes perfectly, where do you see yourself? The plan is, you know how plans work out. But it's to, I'm probably gonna do this pretty hardcore for like the next 10 years. And then I like to step back, have a family, and stuff like that. Because it's such a grind, and it's so demanding of your time. You know, I mean, like I never get to see my girlfriend or any of my family during crawfish season. Madison is a super humble guy, and he won't brag on himself, which has made it a little hard to piece together this entire story. But we've learned that eight years ago, him and his partner started this business, and when they did, they were living in the delivery truck driving crawfish back and forth to New Orleans. And today, this has grown into one of the largest crawfish producers in the entire country. He's a uh, super impressive guy, and it's been a lot of fun to hang out with him today. Okay, it is official. All the fishermen have dropped off their catch for the day. There are about 400 bags in here, which means that I am surrounded by over 250,000 crawfish all caught today and they'll do it all again tomorrow people eat a lot of crawfish all right the last truck just pulled out work is officially done madison has invited over some of his friends and co-workers and we're about to have our first louisiana crawfish boy that one Thank you. So apparently these are at peak eating time. They're this really pretty pink color. These are gonna be like peak yumminess and have the most nutrition. So this machine, it automatically sorts the crawfish that are too small to eat and any other debris that's gotten in the crawfish. So this is the bad pile and these are all the ones that we're eating. We have uh, B-sized boiler potatoes. We have smoked pork sausage and we have Corn copets is what they're called. So I don't like to over season the vegetables. I think of it as like a break from the hot spice. It's kind of like a palate cleanser. It's a milder taste. There's not a bunch of red pepper in your face. Some people brag about how spicy their vegetables are, but that's not really something to brag about in my opinion. One thing I've learned is that there's a lot of work that goes into a crawfish boil. True talent. <laughs> True talent at work right there. Woo. Shake them around a little bit. You want to be careful because they're tender, so you can cradle it like a baby. <laughs> well, so why do the veggies before the crawfish and not everything together? Um, so we have a method that... Hey, dude. Oh, hey, dude. Yay. You like the camera. So put a little bit of liquid oil, which is a concentrated seafood oil. Probably the one that makes your nose run, makes you sweat a little bit. A little bit of lemon juice. I just need to it. Oh, yeah. So what magic is happening inside the 
the cooler. All the goodness and flavor of this world is just getting produced, and then you're gonna put the crawfish, suck the head, rip the tail. It's gonna be like. That's it. Everything's cooked. How many people does this serve? What? Yes, one. One? Yeah, one in Louisiana. This is one person serving? Yes, it's about three pounds. No, it's not. It's a healthy <laughs> serving. We love each other. Okay, Matthew, you were born and raised here. That's right. You know the best way to enjoy a crawfish. I sure do. you do. want to pick my first crawfish ever? Oh, go ahead. Which just one pick anyone. The they all look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to take it by the head and by the tail. Okay. And then take a twist. There you go. Yeah. Got it. Now some people, you know, take the pinky and get inside. Oh. Try to get all that. Okay. Start the head. And squeeze. Ooh. Woo! Woo! What's on there? Blow up. So pinky, and you just lick your pinky. Hot! Yep. Hot! Go ahead, hurry, hurry. All right. Oh, that's nice. That's all that flavor. Got some pink. <laughs> this sure does. How long is it gonna take her to eat this whole plate of crawfish? <laughs> oh, it'll probably take her a few hours. <laughs> No judgment, no judgment. Sure. I've been doing this since I was, you know, you know, knee high. You're doing good, better than most. Yeah? So hold it here, it. pinch it, and then you pull, and sometimes the poo trail comes out with it. And then you Aww, open your dip. Oh, my poop stayed inside. Aww. And this is it? This is it. Is like this is the final the finale. finale. It's okay. been waiting for. My first crawfish tail. Mmm! Delicious. Yeah? I have nothing to compare it to, but it is fabulous. Come on, it's kind of hard to explain. It's like that good, you know, home down flavor. You just love. <laughs> have you already peeled another one? Oh, like three more. <laughs> Wait, I want my tail. I Take want it. my poop. <laughs> Getting help from everybody at the table. Look at that. What is that? It's a little bit of the brains, you know, everything <laughs> kind of going inside. Ooh. I don't like the brain. If it's brown, put it down. <laughs> well, hey, I knew, know. I didn't know. And you gotta let it either, you know. Learn you learn, you learn, learn. yeah. <laughs> Everyone is so fast. Ah, my mouth is on fire. Did you finish two? That's right. On the third. <laughs> He's finished two full plates and I'm like. Not even halfway. <laughs> That's who's left at the table. I'm sweating, my mouth is on fire, <laughs> and it's so good. Are you just sitting here because you feel bad? You don't want us to be alone? Oh, no, no, I eat crawfish. <laughs> okay, it's official. Throwing in the towel. I have about a fourth of my plate left. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us company. Thank you for keeping us company. <laughs> There's Darcy. <laughs> Is there anybody in Louisiana who doesn't eat crawfish? Oh yeah, if, if you're allergic, I think you're up north, that's it. <laughs> Don't trust nothing north of I-10, I swear. It ain't good. Do y'all ever have like races in your family where you race to see who can- Well, there's no race when you finish first every time. <laughs> Let's see if I have any claw meat. So, I mean, it's best to do- What about the smell? Are you used to it? <laughs> it smells like money to me. So I hope you know how people say that, it's true. <laughs> 